Hello everyone, welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today I have a really quick tip that came from an idea. Um, I was working with a customer a couple days ago. We were creating some flows in Power Automate. And you know one of the things that you will notice is if you're using a check condition basically in Power Automate and that condition is based on an option set, then you have to use the values of the options as part of your condition. So for example, the flow that we were creating was leveraging the relationship type in the account entity. So if I go to the account entity, and I'm just gonna open any account in here. By the way, let's start the countdown and let's go. If I go into the account entity and notice that I have relationship type in here, and when I go into the relationship type, I have a bunch of different options. So if I want to, let's say, fire a flow that performs an action when the account is a customer or a consultant or a competitor or whatever it is. I cannot use the name of the option set or the label in the option. I have to use the value. So how do you get the value of it? Well, you can navigate into the customization section and you know kind of find the value that way all the way into the field and open that up and get all the value. Or if you're working on an account, and this also works when you're doing integration, for example, integration work, or if you're doing some work in Power BI, this also works as well. You, you know, getting the values behind the option set options is a really common thing that you do with Dynamics when you're an administrator or a consultant or a solution architect. So instead of doing that, instead of going through all of that, you know, process behind the scenes, we can use level up for that. So I can go to level up and look, there's an option here that says show option set values. So when you click on that, an open uh, a window will open up and you will notice that in this window, we have all of the options. As you can see, customer type code is in here with all of the information, you know, all of the different, uh, all of the different options with the different values in there. You also can see that the industry code in this case with all of those different options for all those different industries and all of their values, ownership code, a preferred contact method, payment terms, address shipping method, et cetera, et cetera. Even this one right here for travel charge type, all of those are shown up. So basically all of the option sets that are included on that form for that account are now displayed and not only I can see the option, but I can also see the value. So I can keep these opened up and granted, and I've done this before, you know, sometimes when you're doing a lot of back and forward, if I don't want to have this open, you know, right on the on the screen the whole time, sometimes I've even printed this. This is pretty easy actually to export to Excel. Now I get to manipulate it a little bit. I get to consolidate it and try to print it all in just one page. Um, but it's really easy if, I'm, if I know that I'm going to spend one or more days working on reports or flows or whatever that have to go into multiple option sets within the same entity, sometimes I get to just control a copy paste in Excel manipulate it a little bit and then I have a report of all the option sets with all the options and all the values so I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week